The winner of the 2015 Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought will be crowned at the Strasbourg Plenary before Christmas. But what ground too can be made on fighting terrorism and tackling migration? It's time to find out. Welcome to the agenda. Kicking off the wish list, data protection. All three institutions are currently in negotiations to flesh out an agreement. Some revisions to the tax are calling for an increase in fines for companies violating privacy, as well as making conditions even harder to access personal information. If accepted, MEPs will vote on the agreement on Thursday. EU leaders meet in Brussels on Thursday and Friday. What decisions can they take to tackle terrorism and fight radicalism before the end of the year? The President of the Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, will lead the meaty debate on Wednesday morning, picking apart the Brussels meeting agenda which includes migration and the UK's EU referendum. Could a dedicated European Coast Guard and border system help manage the migration crisis better? So what could be their role, composition and function? And what then for Frontex, the EU border management agency? Commission First Vice President Franz Timmermans will put forward new plans to MEPs on Tuesday. MEPs have called for binding targets to help save the planet from global warming. But just what was the outcome of the UN Climate Conference in Paris? It was billed by many as the moment that leaders needed to make count. Talks fell behind schedule over differences of the terms of the agreement. But what was decided for the years ahead? Find out by following the debate on Tuesday. And now for some news in brief. An EU report chides Turkey for its human rights abuse. But how far can the EU push a country so important in helping to carry the burden of the refugee crisis? MEPs debate the report on Wednesday. Negotiations between the institutions are set to carry on for a few years yet. But can there be an agreement on an EU-wide energy union that looks to create better integration and self-dependency? MEPs debate on Monday. Publicly flogged and serving a 10-year jail sentence. But could the torment for the Saudi blogger Raif Badawi be finally coming to an end? He's been languishing in jail since 2012, but reports suggest his case is now under review. Badawi has been awarded countless awards for his courage, and the European Parliament too has awarded him the 2015 Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought. His wife will receive the award on his behalf at a ceremony on Wednesday. And that's all we have this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.